You don't want to miss this. Hi everybody, first and foremost, and as per usual, I hope everybody out there is doing well. I'm here in my own town of Wigan on a very wet, windy, dull, miserable day as one would expect for this time of the year in the northwest of England. And at the back of me you can see the Wigan Parish Church. I'm currently stood on where the venue, the ABC and the Wigan Casino, the Ritz, was situated many years ago. An iconic venue, not only here in Wigan, but throughout the country and of course the world. On Tuesday the 18th of March 1958 one Buddy Holly and the Crickets would grace the stage at the Ritz live in front of a screaming audience. It would be his first time that he would visit the UK and it would be his last. Less than a year later on February the 3rd 1959 Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, JP Richardson otherwise known as the Big Bopper took a charter plane to avoid a buzz ride during dreadful midwestern snow conditions. In their attempt to avoid these conditions, sadly only minutes into the flight, the plane crashed, killing all three musicians on board and sadly changing the course of the music industry forever. In the book, Buddy Holly and the Lemon Drop Kid, it stated, tonight at the Ritz, the transition between acts is quick and smooth and the moment of Buddy's appearance on a Wigan stage draws ever closer. The Lemon Drop Kid, the Teddy Boys, the teenage girls leap to their feet as Buddy centres the spotlight. The sound of the sunburst Stratocaster cuts through the theatre, complemented by the thunder from the bass and the whip of the snare. As Buddy falls to his knees and the music gets louder, the teddy boys and the teenage girls sweep into the aisles and the jiving continues for the rest of the set. For the lemon drop kid, this is the moment, this is rock and roll. This is the remedy to the early mornings. The bruises, the black nails, and the coal dust. But it takes a bow, the curtains fall, and it's all over. The memory of the performance carries the Lemon Drop Kid and his mates back to Lee. And the reality of the alarm clock, the mine shaft, and the coal face. But for that one night only, they have been somewhere else. A mythical land of diners, exotic cars, sunshine and beautiful girls like Peggy Sue. numerous iconic figures, musicians and their bands such as Roy Orbison, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, all played at Wigan's world-renowned venues. Sadly, Wigan Casino closed its doors for the last time on 6th of December 1981. Demolition work to take it to rubble was carried out in February 1983. There's an haunting and sad image of a photograph that sticks in my mind of the actual casino again taken down in rubble with the piano in the middle of the stage. On May the 28th, 1998, the Ritz would close its doors for the last time before being demolished. Again, for me being a Wiganer and a proud Wiganer, to not see such iconic buildings such as the Wigan Casino, the Ritz, preserved for future generations, I think is really sad.